Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, I finally figured out the lighting setup, so it's gonna look a lot better. And in this video, I wanna talk about the defense that I use against the most popular formations. And this is mostly going to be one defense. Yes, I know that sounds crazy. How is one defense good against everything? Well, it's not good against every everything, but it's just a very solid base defense that I wanna show you guys. I am, of course, talking about Big Nickel over G or B Nog, as it is also known. And I'm gonna talk about cover for match. I am currently running this out of the Kansas City Chiefs playbook but any playbook that has big nick lower g is gonna work what you need to do is you need to put zone coverage on match that is very important in your coach adjustments that's just absolutely huge in my opinion i just like to turn auto flip defensive play call off and when we talk about abilities i have two edge threats right here in this aiden hutchinson and harris guy i have two edge threats there they do amazing work for me then for audibles i want to send my audibles just to make sure that i have everything i'm going to put cover four quarters cover uh, cover six and then cover nine right here. Cover two, I like to, my bad, I like to keep cover two right here in this spot. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. It'll help me a lot. We've been growing a lot in the last couple of days. Just make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also like the video if you enjoy what you're watching. And the first formation that I want to talk about is going to be gun bunch i'm gonna talk about gun bunch right here let's talk about let's talk about deep corner what you have to understand about cover four quarters which is the defense that i'm gonna call is that this is going to play like man coverage at some point like cover four we we, we know the cover four drop which is just like a regular spot drop coverage if we see the zones that's where they're gonna play but cover four match as the name suggests it matches man to man and whenever we have a bunch look the solo receiver is going to be man covered by uh, this guy right here. Okuda, this man, he's going to put, uh, be in man coverage against uh, number 11. This assignment is called Meg, man everywhere he goes. So wherever that person goes, he's going to cover him. Then we have the running back, which is going to be man covered by Anzalone. Anzalone in his quarter flat is also going to play him anywhere he goes, Meg man everywhere he goes right here on the bunch side we have something like a box this is called the box check for gun bunch we have elliot in the flat rodriguez right here in the middle he's gonna take anything that goes over the middle walker he is covering anything deep that is uh, that is above 10 yards and orvarie he is covering anything to the corner uh, that is uh, deeper than 10 yards. If I run this deep corner right here, if I snap, I snap the ball. Now you see how the corner out gets played. Of course, because uh, I don't know why that I just completed that. But you see, if we go into instant replay just so I can show you everything that is working on this play. Uh, we have our flat defender right here. He drops into the flat. He takes the deep route and he defends the corner. Out. Now, of course, he took way too long to transition. Uh, but you saw that that is covered. Uh, then I'm going to run this play one more time to ho hopefully maybe this time get a better play on it. There you go. We pass interfered, which is exactly what we want. If we also look backside now, and this is what I actually wanted to show you guys. The running back is matched immediately by Anzalone. You see how he carries him down the field. Of course, Anzalone is a linebacker. He's not going to play too well of coverage. But if you have a safety there, that's going to be a lot of success for you. And right here we have man everywhere he goes. So he breaks in right there and we flip into man coverage. So the important thing to realize when you're playing this is when stuff breaks down. So for example, Lazard, if I motion him to the outside, now I have to watch the corner out because if I snap this, now the corner out is playing against number 21 on the inside. And if I have short in elite on my corner out, he's going to beat that man to man every single time. So right there, that looked pretty close. But if I have someone with short in elite right there, there is no way that that safety can keep up with it. Uh, with him and right there you see that the corner is open so as soon as you see that motion out in bunch you have to be wary and now it's it really depends on who you want to use i like to use a joseph and then i just i just move in here i pinch my line oops my bad i pinch my line i slant them outside so it looks like this that way i can get a better pass rush as it doesn't update the play art but i get a better pass rush okay i see that and now i'm covering the corner right there i'm right there course if we get pressure that would be ideal but two edge threats are going to take care of that for you i also have two inside stuffs excuse me two inside stuffs right here so run is never an option in case that they do decide to run the ball cover four quarters is a very very nice run defense because the cover four safeties are actually in the run fit so you have one two three four five six uh five six seven eight nine you have nine out of eleven people 
that are responsible for taking care of the run, which is a lot. That is more than cover three. Uh, it's just the same as cover two, but in cover two, the safeties don't play it, the flats play it. And for a lot of shotgun runs, you want more so the safety support is that going to be uh, that's going to be doing a better job for you. And what about something like verticals? Well, similar thing. Uh, we have man to man across everywhere as right there. We were going to have to play the tight end, but everything else matches the tight end in the verticals play is pretty good from the snap. But then once kind of the zone develops and the matching starts to happen, uh, then the tight end is also going to be covered. So there you go. It is a very nice basic defense. Another thing, and this is my mix up. I always have two plays that I call against every single defense just to make sure I'm not predictable is the cover three invert. If you have three safeties on the field, just like stock or a package that puts three safeties on the field, which I have one, two, three right here. I can make this into a cover three invert, which looks like this. Some people also call this Tampa three. But there you go. Now I have cover three, but it looks like a cover two. And it's kind of combines the advantages of a cover three and a cover two. Uh, cover two of doing a great job of covering the flats. Cover three is sometimes uh, susceptible to corner routes because the zone is out there and it gets drifted back by a streak. This is not going to happen. Like this Elliot guy, he's going to make a pretty decent play. I I'm going to click onto him. That was my bad. This Elliot guy is going to do a pretty decent job of covering the corner route because he's going to drop out into his zone. Uh, right over the top of the corner rod. So right there, you see the play. I don't know, my brain seems to be malfunctioning. But I'm going to snap this ball. And you see how he's all over that corner rod, basically. We could have thrown the flat right there, granted. But you see how the deep zone was all over that corner rod. So that is my one mix-up call for this. My bad, I forgot to mention one thing. The backside C route can sometimes burn man coverage. Do I have? I don't have the C route in here. I also don't have an outside apprentice, which is my bad. But I'm going to come out in corner strike uh, just to illustrate the point. I said that the backside cornerback plays man everywhere he goes. It's right there. Of course, that corner is not as good as the outside apprentice one. But that is going to turn into man coverage. And that man coverage is going to lose against that C rod 100% of the time. So the only thing that I recommend to do uh, you guys to do when, uh, to avoid that is put this out guy over there in the left or on the left in an outside third just like so and so now you see we don't play man coverage and we actually are in a perfect position to play that is right there weird interaction but if i click on there then that's a pick so that's one thing that i wanted to point out that solo side cornerback he's going to play man coverage all obviously as i said in the beginning and man coverage routes will beat that and of course the c route uh, on the left is the best route against man coverage in the game i've done lots of videos on it be wary of that and put that guy in an outside third so you don't get beaten. Now let's get into why I like the Kansas City Chiefs defense so much. It is because we also have dollar and now we get into tight offset tight end. How do you defend corner routes? Well, it sounds pretty simple, but it is. It's just a baseline press cover four drop. Now for this, I still recommend having match coverage on because that is going to do a very, very nice job. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to baseline, I'm going to press, I'm going to pinch my D line slant them to the outside make sure that they're slanted to the outside not the contained ones because they don't rush move these guys down right here and rodriguez he's going to be my user so now if i snap this ball you see corner is perfectly covered there's no window for me to throw that at all even if i run something like bench i can run something like bench and i set up my defense and if you get used to it you'll do this really really quickly this is how many fists look. You can also shade underneath if you want to. And now I have the bench corner routes, which are notoriously difficult to defend. No more. Absolute perfect defense. No way that they're going to get that on you. Now, there is a beater to this, and this is where you have to be kind of careful. If they have the running back to the short side, then you have to be careful of getting beat with this PA seams. So what they do is they will streak Thomas. Oh, my bad. They will streak Thomas. Mm -hmm. They will streak Thomas. So I'll do my setup baseline press with these guys down right here. If you're not careful out of PA seams, there's a cover four beater against this. I'm going to snap the ball and you see how we can hit that. You know, that's a cover four beater. That didn't look so bad, but in Ultimate Team, this looks way worse. Like this gets way more open in Ultimate Team. So if you see this alignment, just put square into an outside third, just like so. So now. If your opponent tries to get cute on you, run this play. 
you see that immediately this is played pretty much to perfection and we'll get a pick on it with uh, Diggs or whoever that guy is. But you see, this is covered. You just have to make sure to not get beaten by that one thing. Of course, your opponent is going to adjust their things open. Like, no coverage is perfect. There is always something that will beat any given coverage. But this is a very, very nice starting point and that is going to take care of pretty much every single person that you're going to face outside of the um, All-Pro division. Below that, you will never lose to tight again. Let's now talk about Trips tight end. I do not have Trips tight end in this playbook, but I'm just going to call Trips tight end offset and you guys are going to have to bear with me. So level sale, I'm going to call and I'm going to go back to Nick Lover G. Now, uh, to big Nick Lover G. Now, here's what I recommend. Cover two, run the inverted cover three. Put this triangle guy in an outside third, L1 in the middle third, and this guy on X also in an outside third. Then we have a bird hook on the field and I don't like that. I like hook curls more because they are a little bit more aggressive on drags. So what I recommend you to do is blitz all your linebackers, which is right on the D-pad down on the right stick. So it looks like this and then zone them all. So now they are in hook curls. That is what we want. If you want, you can make those hook curls play a little bit more aggressive, shade underneath, but then also put uh, the guys on the outside back into cloud flats and this should take care of a lot of stuff. Of course, the corner is not going to be open on the tight end, and I just have to lurk the middle of the field. Now, level sale is probably the best play that they can call against this defense. You can also, of course, mix in the match coverage every once in a while if you want. As right there, going to snap the ball. You see how we get the match going. If you can mix it up like that, that then you also have a good shot. But trips to end generally is what I feel worst against. It is also important, of course, that you can stop the run. So, points, uh, pin pinch your linebackers and then slant to the outside just like so so now if they run inside zone you can kind of penetrate there and try to make a play that way but that is the way that i'm currently running defense next video is going to be an offensive video again because i feel like defense you don't need that much stuff on defense like if you have one defense that you feel comfortable in that you can audible and make adjustments out of that's perfect offense i like to switch it up a lot but defense this is one that i'm running and i'm gonna be using this defense for a while if you want, the, uh, want some blitzes out of this as well can definitely do that for you but for now i'm out of here i appreciate the guys uh the support you guys have been showing me misspoke there it was a long day believe me guys moving in is not the most relaxing thing but of course it's a lot of fun streams are going to be over on twitch link is in the description yeah i'm out appreciate you guys very much peace